Hey guys, it's your favorite psychic medium and spiritual advisor. I'm Missy Tully. Let's get into what 2024 has in store for you. And let me start off by saying that 2024 is the year of the dragon, which is going to bring us luck, wealth, power, and a lot of opportunities for growth and renewal. But it's also going to bring in quite a few challenges and conflicts. So emphasize on how you can forgive people and find peaceful resolutions this year, because this is going to be one of those years Years where as we progress into the new year, things might get a lot hotter and heated and we really want to maintain our cool. We don't want to spit fire at anyone that may not be necessary. Okay. We don't want to have any of that awful backlash as well, but let's get into January 20th, all the way to September 1st, um, where Pluto actually goes into Aquarius. Now, Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008. So the last 16 years or so, and it's been a lot of really hard work. And because Pluto really has been um, in Capricorn, which is the ruler of our determination, our responsibility, and our hustle, it's been really kind of hectic and chaotic, and things have been kind of really falling apart. We just need the break. So as um, Pluto enters Aquarius on January 20th, Pluto actually rules Scorpio, which is all about like death and, and rebirth and personal transformation and really your soul's desire and, and of course, sex. So when Pluto, if we look at it, Pluto rules um, the economy and global markets and the way we define health. And while Capricorn is very, very much about traditional ideas and principles and stability and structure and rules, Aquarius represents individuality, independence, innovation, and progression, as well as rebellion, right? And so because Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, Uranus represents all of the above, rebellion, risk-taking, organ organizational changes. That means no more um, sticking to the laws and the rules and the regime that society says is okay or normal or what we have to abide by. That is about to change. So what does that mean for you? Well, let's say First, I think I need to back up because Pluto goes into Aquarius January 20th to September 1st, and then it retrogrades a little bit and then it back into a Capricorn for a couple of weeks. But November 20th through March 8th um, until 2043, Pluto will stay in Aquarius. OK, so this means that there is going to be a digital dependency, government systems, the healthcare system um, and all this negative news that we have. This is all creating fear, anxiety and depression. And there is going to be a, re a rebellion. If you think about it, there is going to be this revolutionary rebellion in 2024. And Pluto has been in Capricorn for so long that as Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn, ruling our restrictions, our limitations, our structure and our government system, it's all going to begin to change. So there are a couple of dates where we have some lunar eclipses that might stir up some vibes that are far more intense than the average full moon's energy. And I'm talking about March 25th, we have a lunar eclipse in Cardinal Libra around 3 a.m. Eastern time. Um, this is going to bring a lot of intense realizations about how you're dealing and relating to other people. Uh, how do you show up in your closest interpersonal relationships? You need to really think about that. Also, during this time, you're going to find a lot of um, ways to balance and nurture your life. And that's going to be quite significant. Now, the second lunar eclipse that we're going to have this year is on September 17th, where lunar eclipse is going to be in the mutable sign of Pisces, and that's going to be around 1034 p.m. Eastern time. Now, I will say um, uh, Pisces is kind of the ruler of Neptune, the planet of spirituality, dreams, illusions, delusions, yada, yada, yada. So this is going to be concerning because of how you heal your inner wounds and how you're going to explore empathy of others, really trying to tap into your imagination to share what's on your heart and on your heart and to share through this artistic outlet. So try to escape reality by, you know, coloring, being um, playful, enjoying things in life. It's going to really help to brighten that Pisces energy with this lunar eclipse. You're going to illuminate the more playful side of yourself. And I really think that during this lunar eclipse on September 17th, around that time, you're really going to want to, you know, bring in that childlike playful energy. Don't take yourself so seriously. Now we have opposing signs um, for solar eclipses on April 8th. Um, there's going to be a solar eclipse in the fixed fire sign of Aries and October 2nd, there's going to be a solar eclipse in the Cardinal Libra. Now this means that you need to consider boundaries. You need to create healthy boundaries and there are going to be some decisions that you're going to have to make now that are going to really have a long-term 
a long-term impact on all of your relationships. This could be personal relationships and professional relationships, and don't forget your relationships with your pets. So between September 2nd and November 19th, Pluto is going to reverse retrograde back to Capricorn. And I mentioned this earlier, but this means that old systems need to be changed. There's going to be unpredictable behavior like you've never seen before. And this is the last time that for at least 200 years that Pluto is going to go back into Capricorn. So in our lifetime and our children's 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 lifetimes, we are never gonna see this kind of energy. So there's going to be unprecedented, unpredictable rebellion behavior. This is going to cause legal battles. This is going to cause um, heightened um, sensitivities. This is going to cause divorces. This is going to cause splits. But if you are ahead of the game and you know between September 2nd and November 19th, all hell is going to, you know, come at you, then just keep yourself grounded and know that it's only temporary. You're going to get through this. So August 4th through August 28th, there is going to be a Mercury retrograde in Virgo and Leo. Also on November 25th through December 15th, there's going to be a Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius. Now, what does this mean for you? Because Mercury rules our communication and how um, we use technology, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to feel backwards and crazy. But what I'm going to tell you is don't overdo it. You might kind of regret it. Um, instead of really burning yourself out with work or um, being on devices all the time, maybe take a digital detox, maybe try to use your words a little more um, slowly, really try to figure yourself out and how you're going to communicate with people. Really try to be playful and have some fun during these two Mercury retrogrades. I don't feel that they're really going to be that bad, but maybe you can take a paint class or go roller skating or try some new foods just to add some flair and flavor into these Mercury retrogrades just to help ease you through it. But this year in 2024, I don't really think that they're going to be that bad. So don't get your panties in a twist. So on May 25th, Jupiter does enter Gemini and Gemini um, is the sign of the twins rules duality and curiosity. It's going to really, uh, around May 25th, you're going to really see that Jupiter is really the good luck planet. So we're going to really see an enhancement in our collaboration efforts. Really, our social calendar is going to start to get real busy. So don't really be afraid to start saying yes to new opportunities or new meetings. I feel like people that are looking for love, um, you're going to be meeting some really interesting, colorful, flavorable people. And don't be afraid to try don't be afraid to try something new hey Sagittarians out there guess what Jupiter rules your sign Jupiter is like the good luck the freedom and the just um how do I want to say this just experimental uh planet that rules us. Now, I will tell you, Sag, is that you need to really plan to expand yourself this year, but do it with caution. Go for education or training or some type of new certificate. That's really going to help you get to where you want to be financially, and that's going to be kind of the, the general reading of your year. Now, be cautious of impulsive decisions with dating or going back to old flames. Don't do that. That is a big, fat, fat no-no. Um, I can't tell you that again. Now, what I will say is as far as love life goes, um, Love and money are kind of one and the same for you this year. You really need to, you know, collaborate with a partner, maybe start a business together, but really work on responsibility, work on adventure. You really need to explore all options at this point. Um, I feel like you've lost a little bit of that sparkle, that know-it-all energy. Um, and so maybe you need to get back to that party side of yourself and really allow yourself to, how do I want to say, um, just stop trying to go backwards. You know, when when we tend to get ahead of ourselves, we tend to like feel bad. And sad with you, I really feel like you might get some of that energy right around like November 25th to December 15th. You might kind of feel backwards because Mercury is going to go in retrograde in your sign. So that means technically communication, all that's going to be backwards. So really use your words wisely and really try to um, speak with people, whether it's a contract or business, or if, uh, if it's a private conversation with your loved one, your partner, really just uh, let these people know that you've got their back. You're not going anywhere. And even if you kind of falter into the shadows a little bit, you're going to come back out kicking and screaming and ready to go. So if any of this connects with you, put the comments in, uh, in the video below. Thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe.